There we go, guys. Oh, yeah. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. So much harder in this current, y'all. We're gonna go fishing for carp today. We're at a local spot where you can see me. This is actually really flooded. Uh, it's normally a pretty good spot. The water's really high. Uh, fast current, so I don't know how well we're gonna do. Generally, it's hard to catch carp if the current is moving that big because they don't like fast moving. They, they like to stay in um, little shallow pools. They like nibble on the bottoms. They don't like current. So I'm not sure how we'll do, but uh, we're going to give it a shot and then uh, see what happens. Guys, we're going to rig up two today. Get those two set up. I'm traveling light in a wagon today. If you follow me, pretty much know I always carry a go with a wagon. <laughs> oh, super muddy here. <clears throat> so, we already got these two uh, poles rigged up, some carp rigs, so. See if maybe I turn this way, you see it better. You got a two ounce weight attached to the main line, a uh, little bead that protects the leader. This is a, a little spiral deal I bought on Amazon. Don't really like them. That is attached to a hair rig that I also bought on Amazon. And look, guys, this is all you need for a carp. You just need these little small hooks. Uh, and that is some imitation corn, which I get on Amazon as well. I can put links on the in the description for all of that. I got another rig that's uh, not quite the same, so this is the bait we're going to be using today. So this is breadcrumbs, corn, and cherry Dr. Pepper, which is one of the greatest sodas ever invented. And if you don't like Dr. Pepper, you can go ahead and unsubscribe from my channel. I'm just kidding, y'all to each their own, but I do love me some Dr. Pepper down here in Texas. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna try to cast this out into the shallowest spot. And uh, you know, hopefully it stays put. It's most likely gonna drift down, but we're gonna try. Um, you know, you would think to cast that way, but I know this spot and there's a bunch of debris right there. We're not gonna catch anything except rocks. Hopefully this two ounce weight is enough to hold it down. That's still drifting. So we're just gonna set that in the holder. See where it ends up going. We're gonna bait up this other one. So this rig looks a little different because I don't have that spiral piece on there. This is my preferred rig actually, two ounce weight. It's a drywall hanger, glass bead, hair rig that I buy on Amazon. Let's pack that on there. Also does not help that it is the middle of the day. It is 1.23, Saturday afternoon, but it was raining earlier. I was busy doing some stuff. So this one, I'm going to see if I can't cast it into that shallow by the pylons over there. Ah, come on, y'all. That's about as good as it gets. on that tree there yeah this one hits a major current major current over there I'll go ahead and reel it back in normally when you reel this in you lose your pack bait 
But that's okay because we're not going to catch anything anyways. Yeah, see that current stripped it all off already. shallows hmm. all right guys let's give this a minute and see what happens We got something nibbling on this one. No, probably lost all our bait. Let's reel it up. Oh, look at that, guys. I didn't even know he was on there. little buffalo who is <sighs> calm yourself sir calm yourself I didn't even know he was on there ah. oh, he is feisty he is feisty look at that guys that is a small mouth buffalo I think or large mouth it's definitely a buffalo it's not a carp. They look very similar. They're actually not related. But, uh, yeah, there we go. So I'm actually going to keep this one. I'm going to use this guy for bait tomorrow. I'm going to go for alligator gar. <laughs> I know we got a lot of uh, chest mount camera action going on right here. But, um, yeah, so the way I record these videos is, one, I have a GoPro. And, two, I have a cell phone, which I brought. But I forgot to bring the uh, mount to mount it to the tripod, so... Sorry! Amateur hour. But that's alright, we're still gonna make some good videos here, guys. Stick around, stick around. This one's moving again already, guys. So this line was way over there. It went totally slack, and now it's over here. Doesn't mean a fish is on. 
it could mean a fish hit it. Get the line tight. I mean, they're both moving. I think this one's stuck on something. This one feels like it's stuck. Oh, there you go. It came loose. Probably has no bait left on it, but you can actually still catch them as long as that corn's still on the hook. The pack bait just attracts them. It's actual hook that hooks them, guys, so don't let that fool you. I'm loaded up. So we want to try to cast this right in the less current right along that bankment there. Probably gonna be our best shot. So you can see how flooded this area is. This is actually one of my uh, rod holder poles right there, or holes, not poles. This is generally where I would put it. So this bayou is probably three feet of water higher than it normally is. These high currents, you never know. Could be turtles, could be debris, could be fish. You never know. That's what kind of makes it exciting. Wow, did you see that line just went totally slack? You see that? This line just went totally slack. It's moving, it's here now. It was over there by those pylons a little bit ago. Uh, nope. Oh, he came off. He came off. That one's going now. Come on. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Don't act like you've never done it. reload the other one and come back to this so check it out guys we're gonna put a boilie on one of these Oops. so a boilie is really just a artificial piece of bait for carp so you take a little hook all right slide it down the hair rig so, there we go, guys. Oh, yeah. Come on. One out some drag, one out some drag. Ooh, it's challenging fighting them in this river. And he's way down there now. I have to wean him back. Wean him back. He's gonna get tired fighting this current. Woo! He's pulling. He's pulling. There he is. That's a good sized carp, guys. That is a good, it's a good sized carp coming out of this bayou for sure. Get him up here. Right, get him up. Come on. 
Okay. All right, I got the net this time. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. It's so much harder in this current, y'all. Okay, let me see if I can lead him into the net. Ah, give him some slack, give him some slack. Oh man, woo! Come on! That's a good sized carp, guys. I normally do not catch big ones in this. Oh, you can see him right there. It's like he's been in a net before. Oh, he's pulling a little line out, pulling a little line out. Come on. Got him. Oh, I got him. Woo. I got him, guys. Woo, I got him. Woo. Oh, look at that, guys. That's a pretty good sized carp right there. Just got him in the lip. Want to make sure I don't lose this. It's feisty. There we go. Look at that guy. Whew. Looks like he's been through some. Oop, pardon my French. Looks like he's been through some stuff. He's bleeding pretty good. Got some kind of sore on him. <laughs> Got my peg bait back too. <laughs> right. Alright. Let me get back to showing you what I was showing you. With the boilie. Before that giant fish took off. So we got the boilie on there. We stick this little doohickey. I mean you buy carp hair rig set you get these little pieces of plastic there they come with this set man just you just slide that on like that boom that's the boilie so boilies would generally stay on the line better than the fake corn but I do find that the fake corn works better than boilies I'm gonna load that up toss it back out there We're gonna try to get close to those second line, second pilings there. We gotta stay under the bridge. It's gonna be a tough cast, guys. Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. It's gonna roll down that embankment, and carp will just chill right there and scoop that up. Hey, it's, it's a little tougher in this current, man, but ah, it makes it so much more exciting. The challenge to it, you know? Is it debris? Is it a turtle? Is it a fish? Is your bait still on there, man? You don't know. You don't know. You don't know what's going on under the water. Exciting. Challenging. Yeah. Oh, there's something nibbling. that one they're both getting hit they're both both my rods right now are getting nibbles both of them this one I'm just slowly reeling in we'll see if something snags it but when they're on man that, that pole is gonna go generally 
generally that happens in this strong current though that doesn't necessarily happen because the fish can get it and go with the current it doesn't make your rod tip go down let's reel this one in and see what's happening toss it right back out there <laughs> almost hit the bridge So I'll tell you what guys, this is a Zebco bite alert. Uh like 60 bucks or something, 70 bucks, I don't know. The reel is actually pretty good. I don't know about the bite alert thing that's gimmicky. I never even tried it. It doesn't whatever, but that rod and reel is pretty good. Pretty good. Downside is I put some really line on it. Oops, part of my French. Put some really bad line on it. it has a ton of memory. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a good starter catfish pole, carp pole, that's a good one. I highly recommend. And it is a sturdy, medium, heavy action uh, rod. It handles six ounce weight. Here we go, guys. We got a fish on. That line just went from, from here. To there. It's definitely going against the current. Mm, that might be a turtle. this is guys it's like a log but why would my log go against the current See, we can't get this unstuck then we may have had a fish take it and go under a log or a piece of debris This is all mud. I don't know guys, I'm stuck on something. Oh yeah, this is sketchy. Oh, this is sketchy. I have fallen in this bayou before, so. close there we go guys whatever it was broke free wow 
It is just absolutely amazing that I still have A to line and B a little bit of the bait. That is absolutely amazing. All right, let's get these reloaded, toss them back out there. Ooh, there we go, guys, look at that. I was just about to reel up my other line and check it, and this one went off. Oh, I think he let it go. Well, maybe not. No, he's still on there. He's just in that current. There we go. There we go. Woo, stripping some line. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, he's he's small but feisty. He's small but feisty. Ah. There we go. Got him. Yeah, baby. Right there. Woo, he is spicy. Look at that. Look at that guy. Man, that is a very dark colored carp. Let's put this back in the holder here. That guy, he is dark colored. Yeah. Look at this. So this guy's got... He's got those legions on him too. Legions, not legions. I mean, he might be in a legion. I don't know. I'm not a fish. It's interesting though. That's the second one we pulled out today that has those uh, legions. Ah, feisty guy. Feisty. Look at him though. Yeah. A little grass car. I mean, uh. Yeah, it might be a grass carp or common carp, one of the two. Hanging out there. Yeah. Let's take a look at those lesions. I don't know what those are. Maybe some UK guys could tell us. Um, I, I've heard that they have to put some sort of ointment or something when they catch them. I'm not sure. Ah, I'm gonna go ahead and catch and release this guy. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So we did it, man. We did a pretty good little Saturday afternoon, about two hours out here. Uh, kind of what did I catch? Buffalo two carp, not bad. Um, man, strong current out here. Still got it done, man. That's what it's about. It's uh, you know you, you never know until you try. Normally I'd have came down here and I've been like, ah, this is gonna be a terrible day, but boom, there we go. Two hours, three fish, not bad. Keep at it, guys. Keep at it. Remember, today could be the day. <laughs>